Recently, I found this dirt cheap FM transmitter module for around $3. By connecting 5 volts to the power inputs and selecting the MP3 port, I can hook up my frequency generator to send out my favorite song called 1kHz sine wave. Then I can power up my old school radio, select the FM range and fine tune the frequency until I can hear my song. I could also select the microphone inputs, solder a small antenna to the board but my radio itself is very bulky and impractical. So in this video, let's find out how radio FM communication works and how you can build your own crude but very simple FM receiver. Let's get started. First off, we need to take a closer look at the FM transmitter circuit. And because probing several components with my oscilloscope did not clarify the function principle at all, I went ahead and used my multimeter with its continuity function to create the schematic of the circuit. At the start, we have our audio source which get AC coupled to our first amplifier stage. The transistor and LC resonator built up a high frequency oscillator in our case around 100 MHz, which is also called the carrier frequency. But this oscillation alone does not contain any information from our audio signal we want to transmit. Or does it? By applying an alternating voltage onto the base of the transistor, like our audio signal, the base collector capacitance changes, which in consequence changes the resonance frequency. And thus, our oscillating signal now changes its frequency a bit proportional to the amplitude of the music. This is called FM, or frequency modulation, just what we wanted. In comparison to that, in the earlier days people used AM, or amplitude modulation, to listen to their music. It's a similar principle, we just changed the amplitude instead of the frequency of the carrier wave in proportion to the amplitude of the audio signal. Only problem is that the audio quality is not that great to listen to. And even my FM transmitter produces AM along the way, because it's a poor man's version. But we can ignore it for now. At the end of the circuit, we got another amplifier stage to stabilize the signal, which is then sent out through an antenna. Now to build a FM receiver, I found this very simple one from microe.com. The working principle is similar, only in reverse, and by changing the input power resistor to a 25 kilo ohm potentiometer with a fixed 5 kilo ohm resistor and adding a LM386 audio amp with complementary parts, I wanted to give the circuit a try. The necessary components are easy to find and also quite cheap, which is always nice. But you need to make the coil yourself. I use 0.65mm enamel copper wire and a 4mm drill for this. Just wrap the copper around the drill 4 times while trying to keep everything tight together. Then use sandpaper to remove the isolation at the beginning and end of the coil and you are done. Really not that hard. My coil has a length of around 3mm and a diameter of 5.3mm. The inductance can be calculated with an approach formula which gives me a value of around 0.15 microhenry. And by assuming a capacitance of let's say 20 picofarads, we get a resonance frequency of 92 megahertz, which seems legit, so we can start to solder. I recommend a small piece of perf board with copper dots. In addition, it is also worth mentioning that you should keep the pins of your components as short as possible and the whole wiring well packed together. Once the circuit was complete, I soldered on a ridiculously long antenna and used an 8 ohm speaker or even earbuds to listen to the op amp output. It is easy to hear that there are a lot of unwanted noises, but on the other hand, it also picked up my sine wave song without a problem. I even was capable to listen to AM and FM radio stations sometimes, which is not bad for such a small amount of components. 
But in the end, this is clearly not a substitute for your commercial radio at home. Those often prefer ready-to-use ICs, which offer an awesome quality boost. But that is a project for another video. Until then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That would be awesome. If you want to support this show in order to keep the videos coming, then please consider supporting me through my Patreon campaign. Stay creative and I will see you next time.